at you. Tuesday afternoon, May the 26th, I think. Then we're on a little bit of an adventure today. We're actually going to uh, look at another car. I got a buddy of mine who's interested in uh, picking up a new vehicle. So we're heading out to uh, Simcoe, Ontario, which is a little bit of a uh, drive from here. But we're going to look at a 1965 Humber Super Snipe Series 5, I believe. So I'm sure quite a few of you have never seen a Humber or a Super Snipe, so we'll uh, take you along for the ride. Should be an uh, interesting vehicle to look at. Apparently it's been imported from Switzerland to Canada. I know there's not a lot of them around, so uh, Anyway, we'll give you a shot once we get there and we'll uh, see what she looks like. Just going to meet uh, my buddy Fit. We're going to pick up the uh, truck and trailer and we'll be on our way. Warm day today. It's uh, actually 30 degrees Celsius, so I think that's going to be the warmest day of the year so far. So we've got some shorts packed and some sunscreen. And uh, like I said, we're on an adventure. We'll talk to you in a bit. All right, there she is, the 1965 Humber Super Snipe. Needs a good wash. Cool. Hey guys, Tush coming at you. It's uh, Wednesday the 27th now. We got the ball game on out in the garage and uh, just enjoying the afternoon. A little bit sore from uh, that uh, car retrieval yesterday. We had to push it up on the uh, car trailer and push it back off the car trailer. We didn't, uh, it wasn't running and we didn't have a winch so I had to use some uh, muscle power and i um, paying for it a little bit today. Getting old. Anyway, we got the uh, passenger side front fender up on the stands today. Uh, we're getting a little help with the weather as far as wet sanding is concerned. We just had a little bit of spitting uh, rain here. So it's been sort of threatening to rain pretty much most of the afternoon. It's been pretty uh, windy as well. So anyway, uh, we'll get out here. We'll get this panel cleaned down and then we'll uh, get to sanding. Uh, and again, we're going to sand this down to uh, 600 grit after we get it uh, cleaned up nicely to start with. Uh, we'll get it sanded down to 600 grit and we'll put it alongside the other one that's been done uh, as per my previous video. Alright guys, talk to you in a bit. Hey, good afternoon guys. Tosh coming at you. Thursday, May 28th, just about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And we got a pretty nice day out there today. So we managed to get uh, two, the two front fenders pretty much sanded down uh, most of the way. I've still got a little bit of work to do on the uh, last fender I was working on. There's a few shiny bits here on the edges, so we've got to go back over that. But for the most part, she's pretty dulled down. So I uh, had an expensive uh, morning this morning. Uh, we went to the paint shop, and uh, we uh, took a couple doors with us to the shop to show them the uh, problem I had with the paint matching, and I was hoping to get... Uh, a bit of a discount on the paint so uh, yeah we did okay I guess I mean I could have done better I was hoping that the uh, the paint shop would do about 50% discount on uh, materials um, and I think I ended up getting it about 30% off the uh, price it's a small business uh, small business owners and uh, I've done pretty much all my business there and they don't make uh, huge margins I'm sure so I didn't want to killed them so um, just wanted some uh, recognition of uh, fault I guess on both parts uh, 
anyway, I did manage to, uh, let me just take this off here. I got a full uh, gallon this time of uh, base, uh, base coat, uh, which is mixed one to one uh, with reducer. So we've got uh, the reducer here, um, which was about 70, I think that's about $72 for that reducer. Uh, we got another uh, gallon of the AG40. And this AG40 uh, is about $225 for the kit. And the base coat is about uh, $380 to somewhere around $380 to $400 for the gallon of base coat. So we should have more than enough to, uh, to repaint this entire car if need be. Um, there's no guarantee, again, that the, uh, the hood or the front apron is going to match what this paint is. So we've got enough to paint the whole car, and I suspect that's what will probably happen in the end. We will just uh, end up painting the whole thing. So I ended up uh, getting that for $550. Uh, and I think that's probably about $800 worth of material there in that box. So I guess it's not too bad. It was $550 more than I wanted to spend. <laughs> but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. At least they uh, admitted some responsibility and just didn't say, you know, we don't need your business anymore and uh, we'll see you later. So they sort of worked with me to give me a bit of a price break. It started off at 25% and uh, managed to get him down a little bit more than that. So uh, didn't want to kill him, and I didn't want to be killed. So anyway, so we've got our materials now. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the weather is going to cooperate. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be a pretty good day to uh, to paint. But if I look at the long-term forecast here, let me just see if this switches off uh, to a few uh, days in the future. Um, so tomorrow is nice, about 28 degrees and full sun. But uh, if I look past uh, Saturday, it goes back down to about 14 degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, I think for the next two days, so like on the Monday and Tuesday, it's down to like 14, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 14, 15 degrees Celsius. Um, and then it really doesn't get above 20 degrees Celsius for the rest of the week. So you see 50 and 16 degrees Celsius as the high on Monday. Saturday is sort of partly cloudy and raining so that won't be a good painting day. So I'm a little concerned now from a weather perspective that I'm going to be getting into about a week's worth of non-painting weather. 15 degrees Celsius just for anybody that's uh, not familiar with the metric system it's below 60 degrees and I definitely need at least 65. I'd be more comfortable at 70 or 75 to paint. So we won't be painting it doesn't look like for the next little while so I guess that will give me uh, an opportunity to uh, finish the sanding on the rest of the panels and the sanding on the body tub, which I haven't started yet. So uh, you may have noticed uh, out in the garage, or out in the garage, out in the driveway, I've got my uh, trailer set up. So I uh, brought that from storage uh, yesterday, and uh, we've got it parked here in the, in the driveway, and I figured that would be a good location just to store uh, panels once they're painted. I'm running out of space in the dining room, so... Um, it's a good, uh, it'd be a good storage uh, location, I think, to keep those uh, panels out of harm's way. I should have enough room to push the body tub out uh, when I need to paint in the garage, so I'll just move the center back and we'll uh, push the, uh, the body out into the driveway and cover that when we get the uh, fan set up to do the painting in the garage. So that's the plan. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, so materials we have, uh, weather we don't have. Uh, patience we have some I guess and uh, we'll continue to sand until we can paint all right that's it for the update this trailer's had a good old former life cool eh